welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I'll be creating another video for Sean Petit with the new stencils I've been sent. And those are numbers two, scribble writing, uh, scribble marks one, and sketched flowers one. And I'll be using those as well as a uh, face looking down and um, a couple other stencils. And I'll make sure and um, let you know what they are as I go through the video. So I'm going to pull out um, some of the like background stencils and I'm going to use some spray inks first. Some of them are made from food coloring and water, some of them are made from inks and water and what I'm doing is when I spray through the stencil um, I then flip it over to give a bit of a ghost print um, as you can see I'm doing there on the page just to add some extra texture. And then I just kind of stamp out the excess um, on a scrap piece of paper next to the page and I'm using a scrap piece of paper to uh, protect my previous page I um, created a while back and I really like these stencils especially like the numbers one which I think I'm going to use now um, like the number one there's quite a few different um, fonts so that's quite nice so I look forward to using that more and you can see it looks quite messy now, but it'll all come together um, in a bit. And I made sure that this layer was dry before I went in with um, the second layer. So this stencil is Backgrounds 2. And now I'm using acrylic paint and sponges to stencil through. And I've basically pulled out um, all the colours that I had in like spray ink. So like orange, yellow, pink, green, blue, purple... Um, I think some red as well as and black and I think also brought up some gold and white and I'm, I'm put most of the pattern like in the middle of the page because I wanted the middle to be quite strong uh, and you'll see why uh, in a little bit and then just the patterns kind of filter out around the edge so there will be some on the edge but mostly focused in the middle and I don't have to worry too much about drying um, the colours in between since there are very thin layers of um, paint going on since it's just sponged through. Um, but if, say, you're using a palette knife to scrape through like the paint, make sure that your um, paint is nice and dry before you go in with the next layer. And I would say change the sponges that you're using. So if I'm using blue, then I want to use pink, I would change my sponge so there's no mixing. So I did want the colours to pop out. And you can see the more you layer up, like the nicer it looks. And I really like those um like scribble marks. Um like, like one of them looks a bit like a leopard print, so it's a really nice um texture. And what I like to do as well, I like to twist and turn my stencils so that the image doesn't look the same. Um, especially since if I'm using like the same color to stencil a few times, um, so it doesn't look too samey samey. And um another one of the stencils I used. Um, it has like words on it, but also a few images like flowers and hearts. And the name of that one is Words, Words, Words. So that's the one I'm using at the moment. And you can see how I'm twisting and turning, like especially with like the heart. So it doesn't all look the same. And then I gave it a quick dry because I wanted to go in with like this kind of scribble writing with some white to kind of break it up. And you can't see it um, very well from afar, but you can see it when you look a bit closer. But that just kind of helped break up some of the pattern just a little bit. And now I'm going in with some gold and I'm using one of the masks um, to do so. And that's just going in just in a few areas, especially around the edge, because I didn't want too much dark colour around the edge, so the gold was a nice way of doing that. So now I've grabbed the Looking Down stencil, and I'm going to use some black um, to stencil her face, and I'm using the bigger one. And I tried to make sure that that was centred up as much as I could as possible and um, it doesn't matter if I'm doing this one too neatly I just want to be able to get that down because this will be a guideline and then I'll go in and stencil the face again um, for a crisper image and you'll see what I mean in a bit so I'm just making sure to get everything in and there we are and you can see like we're 
her eyebrow it, it smushed through a little bit but that's perfectly fine um all that will be covered up in a little bit so i'm filling in any spaces like where her shoulders were and where her chin is um there's a bit of a space and then i'm going to put in her hair i decided i wanted this girl to have an afro so i'm just putting that in using a paintbrush um just getting that initial shape i don't have to be too neat with it um but i do want to be neat ish because i'm going to um go in with the face with white but then i'm going to leave the afro with all that color which is why i put so much like in the middle of the page so once i've put in all of that black i dry that really well because i didn't want it to mix with the white and I'm going to go in and fill in the face. And you can see I'm going going over all her features because I'll just go back in and cover and go back in with the stencil um, once that's dry. So I wanted to just do a base layer first of her face um, and her shoulders. And I'll also go in with like the spaces between her hair um, and her shoulders, just with a watered down mix of white, just so that it didn't stand out as much as her afro. So I'm doing the shoulders now. And I, yes, I am covering up her features, but I'm just making sure it's not too covered up because I didn't want some of the color to shine through, but just not um, too strongly. And as well, because I do want to be able to see the future so I know how to line up the stencil. So you can see I just put a bit of watered down white in those little spaces. So it doesn't look as um, bright as her face, but it's not as strong as her afro, so her afro stands out um, really nicely. And now to in with the gold. So I'm going to use the gold to put in like eyeshadow um, and as well like highlights on her face. So you'll see I do the eyeshadow first and I also go in um, with her lips. And then I'll go in like around like underneath her eyebrows and on her cheekbones as if it's makeup. <laughs> And then I'll um, add a really nice shine. And I'm also putting that in the middle of her nose, um, like wait, maybe where the light would hit. So if you're um, tipping the page in the light, you'll be able to see that. And um, I don't have to be too specific because I know that a lot of the gold will get covered up when I go in with the stencil again. And I'm also going to do um, some gold around the inner edge of her afro just to add a little bit of interest because I found it looked a little bit plain with just the stenciling. So that gold just added a little bit more detail um, just made it look a bit more interesting. And where I thought I needed it, I went in um, with a little bit more gold. I also went um, in with her shoulders and now I'm going to um, blend in some of those gold areas. So like under her eyebrows, um, on her shoulders like by her nose and her forehead and a little bit by her cheekbones but her eyeshadow and lips I leave nice and strong. So I dried that thoroughly with my heat gun and now I'm going to go in with a sponge on the black paint just again and I lined it all up um, with the features that were already stenciled and you'll see how lovely it looks afterwards. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to look, so when I peeled off the stencil, I was super happy with how it looks. You can see that's um, how it looks now, and what I'm going to do is go in with a smaller paintbrush um, with like a smaller tip, and just put in all those details and maybe touch up anywhere that might have um, smushed through um, on the stencil. And just finish her off with all the detail and everything. And I was really, really happy um, with how this was looking. And um, I, the paint is pretty dry. I haven't haven't wet my brush, um, and I would say because like the kind of the grain um, of the fabric was quite deep, so um, sometimes I would have to kind of go in and fill that in because I did want nice clean lines when I was um doing it more like a kind of pop art kind of look. So I had to um. Kind of adjust how I would paint just because of the texture of the fabric but then I really like the texture of the fabric and I'm thinking I might do something like this on a tote bag or something um because I just really liked how it looked so you can see especially her um left right left eyebrow I think um 
that always didn't seem to stencil very well. I was obviously not holding the stencil down properly, so I had to I have to go in and fix that quite a bit. And I'm thickening those lines um where her afro is. And like her face and everything, I did thicken that up a little bit. And um, I wanted the, the line to be really nice and strong. Um yeah, so while I'm doing this, I thought I would just say um if you're watching on Sean's channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe and please do check my channel out as well. Um, there should be a link on her blog and at the end of this video where you can um, ch see my channel. So please do um, check me out and subscribe. Um, and as well, there's lo lots of other people on her creative team. So do um, see their videos as well on Sean's channel because they also create some gorgeous artworks. And if you're on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and as well ch check out Sean's channel as well because she also creates some gorgeous um, canvases. So now I'm going to um, sign the page using a calligraphy pen and some black ink and I'm just going in um, like with the eye by her eyelashes just to add those kind of finishing touches. So I'm going to use my Unibal Signal pen now um, to add some highlights. It's really tricky on the fabric surface, but I think because of all the paint and stuff on it, it made it a little bit smoother, which was good. Um, oh yes, and I did start with a uh, prime surface. I did use chalk primer on it, um, just in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, so I'm just using that to add some finishing touches and that is it. So um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out Sean's channel and every all the other creative team members. Um, everyone has some really gorgeous creations. So um, I hope you join me again for another RTF video. And thanks again for watching. Bye.